Hello everyone, Fixer here, and welcome to my channel news for the month of October. I have a lot to talk about this month, I'll try to keep the video as short as possible, but as per the usual, I'll have links in the description below so you can jump to the section that you're most interested in hearing. So first things first, I am doing an art overhaul on just about everything, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, whatever. Um, my thumbnails, at least some of them, uh, gonna be changing those around a little bit. For the longest time, I've had the orange and blue. Um, I absolutely love orange, my favorite color. Blue is a complementary color to orange, kind of works, but they were kind of bright for me. And they kind of got old after a while. So I'm switching to orange and black with a little bit of blue. And um, I'm looking for feedback on it. I'm not married to the idea um, of the designs I currently have. I have no problem changing them if it's not working. So I want to know if you guys have any feelings one way or another to it. Or do you like the bright colors that I had before, or are you good with the black? Because, you know, black goes with everything. So looking for feedback, and um, if you can, let me know in the comments below what you feel, if anything. Okay, next up, uh, more changes. I have been, I'm still doing the free game Friday thing. Uh, I've been doing that for many months now, but I stopped doing it on Twitter. I'm not, I'm not posting the those images on Twitter with the, the keys and all that stuff anymore. I am, I have, for the past month, I've been giving away those keys on stream instead, over on Twitch. So I'm streaming every Friday now. I guess that's a good segue. I'm streaming every Friday now at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific at Twitch TV slash Fixer TV. And um, I'm just doing a random drawing there. That way, you know, everybody's got a fair chance at, at grabbing the game. So Free Game Friday has moved over to my streams. And if you want to get in on that, you uh, you can stop by the stream and, and enter the drawings there. So yeah, streams. Streams have been going well. Again, I stream every Friday, but I stream other days too sometimes. The, the only schedule I'm keeping though is Friday because it's hard for me to, to keep a schedule um, these days. So Friday for sure, mostly for sure. Other days, sometimes. And I usually post on Twitter and YouTube when I, when I do that. And what I've been streaming mostly, uh, I'm doing mostly indie games. Uh, we're doing, I did like the Shrouded Isle, Slime Rancher, Scanner Somber, uh, Jet Omero, Think of the Children, Where the Goats Are, Hob. Pretty much all indie games with a couple exceptions, I would say. And um, I am transferring those VODs over to YouTube as well. They're... They're pretty much unedited. I, I try to pick a spot at the beginning where there is not a whole lot of talk, where the game mostly starts, and, and then at the end again. And um, I'm putting them in in one giant chunk, so that way if you see a game that you were po possibly interested in, like Scanner Somber, you can hop over there and you can watch the complete playthrough. I don't know if that's something I'm going to keep doing. I guess it all just depends. If you guys have a feeling one way or another, if, if those stream bots have no business on my channel, at least in your eyes, um, don't be afraid to let me know. Um, I'm looking for feedback on that, because like I said, I'm not sold on keeping those on YouTube. I may just keep those exclusive to Twitch. Just want to hear what you guys think about it. So yeah, Fridays, stop on by, um, 8 p.m. Eastern, Twitch TV slash Fixer, Fixer TV, and go follow me on Twitter, which is also at Fixer TV, if you want to get notified of any time I go streaming. I don't post a ton to my Twitter. I don't post like all my episodes of all my videos there, so you're not going to get spammed too much. Usually when I follow somebody, that's kind of my worry is I'm going to get spammed too much. And I don't think I'm like that. Maybe I am. I don't know. I don't think I am. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about YouTube Red. I don't know if you guys remember YouTube Red. It came out, what was it, a year, a little bit more than a year ago? I don't remember exactly. And, and it got panned pretty well. But, um... For me, personally, it didn't do a whole lot for me for the first few months. However, since then, it's done fairly well. And um, a YouTube Red, what YouTube Red is, in case you don't know, you don't get any ads on any videos on YouTube. You get access to YouTube Music, which is a very underrated music app. I enjoy it. I have YouTube Red, by the way. What else is there? You get, you get access to like YouTube shows and whatnot, but I haven't seen a single one of those that was entertaining at all um i use it for two things so i don't have ads on youtube and for the music and right now they have a three month free trial 
you sign up for YouTube Red, you don't have to pay for three months. And it's a cancel anytime thing, so you can cancel before the first month you have to pay. Three months! And you get the, you get no ads on YouTube, and you get access to their music catalog, which is giant. It's, it's awesome. I'll put a link in the description below, so you guys can click on that and follow that. And for three free months, um, that's a bargain. Another feature that YouTube rolled out that you may not have heard of, um, which wouldn't be surprising because that's per typical YouTube fashion. They put out a feature. It's not perfect. It's got many flaws and nobody knows about it. So nobody's going to use it. And then they're not going to spend the time to fix it. it it's, it's, that's YouTube in a nutshell. They have something called sponsorships now. And it's a, it's a fancy word. Uh, but what it is, is it's basically like a sub for Twitch. You know, on Twitch you have followers and subs followers you just get notified when the streamer goes live and and that's the same thing as a sub on youtube but on twitch the sub um you pay like five dollars a month and half of that goes to the streamer the other half goes to twitch and you don't have to do ads on youtube now they have the same thing only it's called sponsorships and it's the it's the same thing uh, you pay five bucks the youtuber however gets a higher percentage than than twitch's streamer does though I think it is 70-30, 70, 70 to the YouTuber, 30 to YouTube, something like that. So those are a thing now. The problem is, go look for it. Can you do see it anywhere? You guys probably have never heard of it and you have no idea where to sign up for it. They hide it. There's, there's They just completely hide it. So yeah, you can't even find it. And I'm not even sure if that's something I want to take part in too much. So I don't know. All right, next topic of discussion, and possibly the most important topic of discussion, I probably should put it at the beginning of the video. I want to change some, some direction of my channel. Not completely, but some. Uh, games are plentiful these days, right? We have 150 games coming out on Steam every week. 150! Just a few years ago, that was how many that were coming out a year, okay? 150 per week. And on top of that, you have sites growing like... Itch, or Itch.io, whatever you want to call them, and Game Jolt. These sites are growing. They have completely free, independent publishing for devs. Amazing. Completely amazing. All these games are coming out. Now, as far as me as a YouTuber goes, I know what my place is, right? I know, I realize that I'm not fantastic at commentary. I, I try to get better, but I probably have a ceiling. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll, I'll get good at it. I don't know, but I realize I'm not great at it. I know my place. Also, I know that I my strength is in research. I love research. I love to look at games coming down the pipeline, and I probably do that better than most YouTubers, most gaming YouTubers. I know what's coming out. And not only do I know what's coming out, I'm usually pretty good at spotting what's going to be good and what's going to be trash. And I feel like that's my real strength. And and for me personally, I love the strange and the different. I love games that make you say, what the hell is this? I love that. And I'm really good at finding it, usually. Things always slip by. Nobody's perfect. But I'm really good at finding that. And I love to share those types of games with you guys. So I do spend a lot of time researching. And in those 150 games that are coming out in Steam... I look at most of those. I I see most of them. I don't want to say all of them because there are some where you, you don't need to see a whole lot to move on to the next game, right? But I know what's coming out. And I know what I like. And I know what people tend to like. And the problem is that I can't cover all the things, right? There are so many games out there. I can't cover all the things. I can't have 10, 15 episodes of, of 10 or 15 games. That's a lot of videos. That's a problem. I can't cover everything. So I'm going to start a new series. Um, I guess you could call it like a first impressions type series. I, I haven't come to a full stop on a name for that yet. I was thinking of something like test drive or whatever, right? Kind of, kind of like how if you were to buy a car, you would hop in a car, give it a test drive, see if you like it, and at the end, you, you know, you run with it. This would be kind of similar with games, right? There's so many games out there. So many I want to do. Some that I may be on the border of, but I'd like to check out. A game like Ruiner, for instance, 
where I know I don't like that type of gameplay, but the whole theme of the game is awesome to me, I wouldn't mind checking out. Uh, and that's a good, perfect example for this. So I would hop in a game like Ruiner. I would play it for 25 minutes or so, maybe 40 or 50 minutes. Enough to get a decent idea of what the game is. And at the end, you know, after the video is done, I can put it up as, you know, I took a test drive uh, on Ruiner. And then I can determine, you know, is this a game that I think that I could I could run all the way through, do a full series on. And you guys can give me your feedback on whether you'd want to see it as well. And then I can make a decision, you know what, maybe I will do a full series on it. and Or maybe, you know, that was enough of Ruiner, we can check out another game. And what this is going to allow me to do, it's going to allow me to check out more games on my channel. And that's not to say that I'm going to completely get rid of my regular series. I'm not going to do that. There are still games that I'm going to do, um, I want to do them all the way through. So the, my normal series aren't going to go away. I'm just not going to have a whole bunch of them going at once like I sometimes do. I'm going to I'm gonna lower that a little bit so I can make room for checking out all these other games that I want to check out. And, and this, this past few weeks is a, is a perfect example of that. So many games came out that I wanted to check out that I just couldn't because I knew I couldn't commit the time to play all these games all the way through and put them on the channel. So I think... What I would enjoy doing is checking them out for an episode and popping them on the channel and just seeing how, how I feel about them and how you guys feel about them. Because, you know, some games just lend themselves well to YouTube and others do not. So I think in the end, this will make me happy. And I hope that would make you guys happy too, because what you guys will benefit from is you're going to be seeing a lot more variety in games. You'll be seeing a lot more strange and interesting games games you you probably didn't realize were out there so you guys should start seeing those sometime soon i wanted to have one up for october 1st but things happened and i didn't have one ready but hopefully soon and um and i'd like to hear your feedback if that's something you guys think you'd uh, like to see or if it's a bad idea feel free to let me know again i think what this is going to accomplish is i'm going to be able to check out more games to see if i like them and more games to see if you guys would like them and i think that's a good thing at least that's how I feel. Okay, moving on. Holy cow. Um, series? I, I could probably breeze through this a little bit. I don't have a lot of series going on right now. Um, two main active series I have going on. Academia. This, um, I don't expect this to be a very long series. There's not a lot of content in the game right now. So that one's probably going to end sometime soon. Um, which is, it's basically a, a prison architect clone. And the problem with the game so far is that it hasn't done enough to differentiate itself from Prison Architect. And hopefully, one day it will. Um, but as of now, it isn't. So it's probably not going to be a very long series. It's just lacking content. And the second series I have is a game called Machinki, which is a transport strategy game about trains. So you get put on this randomly generated map, and there's towns around the map, and there's resources like wood and coal... And you have to build a train system, right? A rail system to transport people from town to town and resources from, you know, the ground over to sawmills and and other buildings. So that's what that is. It's an interesting game. It's an early access as well. They still got things to They still have content to add and bugs to fix and all that jazz. I don't expect that to be a long series either. As for my other um, quote-unquote abandoned series, I'm going to try to get to them when I can. I don't, I, I can't make any promises. I know that it's shitty, they're abandoned and all that stuff. Uh, I feel awfully guilty about it, trust me. Um, but I'll try to get to those uh, when I can. So, series that ended in the month of September. What it was, uh, what ended? Pillars of the Earth, that ended. That was, um, that was a good game. It's a kind of a choose-your-own-adventure point-and-click type game based on the book that Ken Follett wrote in the 80s. The art style was fantastic. The music's amazing. Very interesting game. If you like Choose Your Own Adventure point and clicks, then, then check out Pillars of the Earth. Observer also ended in September. It's a cyberpunk game and visually speaking, it was amazing. There are some scenes in that that were completely strange and holy cow if it was in vr it would be trippy as hell visually speaking there are some scenes in there that were just blew my mind very good story uh, five out of ten 
visuals, 10 out of 10. If you're looking for a, a cyberpunk game that's visually gorgeous, then, then go check out Observer. And Hellblade. Hellblade ended in September, didn't it? Hellblade was, um... Well, it was uh, it was made by Ninja Theory, and they were like, you know what, to hell with publishers. We're going to try to do this on our own. And they did it, and it, it looks gorgeous. It sounds gorgeous. I love the story. The audio, the sound design of the game was was spectacular. It's going to win awards at the end of the year. Guaranteed, Hellblade is going to win best audio, um, uh, audio effects or whatever um, at the end of the year. It's It's got a lock on it because of how well it handled a person who may have voices in their head. But anyways, Hellblade was a fantastic game. If you're looking for something, an interesting story, then check out Hellblade. Last day of June, you play this guy who lost his wife and he finds that he could travel back to the past and perhaps change some kind of, change some things in order to cause some sort of butterfly effect to save his dead wife and he goes back repeatedly changing trying to change things until she's no longer dead very sad game but very well done if you like games that focus really hard on the butterfly effect then definitely check out last day of june and again of course links are all in the description to all the series here if you guys want to hop on over to one real quickly the escapist 2 started did it start in no it didn't start in september but it ended in september I love Escapist 2. It's a fantastic game. However, it has flaws. It's got bugs, and specifically in co-op, there's a desync issue. We ended our series, even though we didn't escape from our prison, because of a bug. And I don't want to play the game again until the bug is fixed. Once it's fixed, then we'll we'll probably take another look at it. Well, I shouldn't say that. There is another prison in there that I think the bug will not affect, and we may do that. But until this specific bug gets fixed, I don't know if I want to do any of the other prisons. It, it's, it tilted me pretty badly. So they need to fix that game up a little bit. Otherwise, I love the game and having co-op in it was was a fantastic idea. It's a fun game. Uh, what else we had? The first tree. First tree is like a walking simulator, only you're not a person, you're a fox. And it's got like parallel stories. You have a fox who, who's got whose cubs are missing and you have a a guy who's telling a story about connecting with his father and these stories happen parallel to each other throughout the game so if you're looking for a short walking simulator that kind of deals with daddy issues then then check out the first tree i think that's it for games that ended in october in september let's move forward to games that are i'm going or series that i'm going to do in october now, the only one I'm going to name, I have lots on my list. The only one I'm going to name is Maze. I'm going to be doing Maze. It's an older game. It came out, I don't know, earlier this year. I don't remember exactly when. And um, it's uh, it's kind of a walking simulator with some puzzles in it. But if I felt it was um, a pretty good theme for October. And in fact, I'm going to be doing a handful of horror games this October. I haven't found any new horror games that I'm going to cover. Um, and like I said earlier in the video, I'm pretty good at, at spotting games coming out. Um, but there are always devs who, who who announce things last second, so who knows. But I don't I don't foresee any new games, horror games that I'm going to do, but there's some older ones that I want to do. And again, I'm not going to name any names because things can change last second. But, but you could probably expect several horror game series from me in the month of October. And like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to be doing a new series where I get to cover more games and bring a more variety of games to you guys to check out. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And I think that caps it off. I think that does it. That's a lot to talk about. I'll try to edit it down as much as possible because I know sometimes these videos can get long and who wants to listen to me ramble on for a half hour, right? So I'll try to edit down as much as possible. And if you lasted this long, I thank you. I thank you so much. I appreciate your time and your support. So here's to a wonderful month of October, and I'll see you guys again come November. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.